In 2010, <clears throat> I was contacted by a publisher in, uh, from Hobart, Tasmania, um, Tasmaniac Publications, um, to see if I was interested in illustrating a, um, a trilogy of short novels written by um, Australian author Brett McBean. Um, I had previously done a book by Brett, um, his novel, The Last Motel, and I, I'm guessing that's why I got contacted for this. Um, I, I agreed, and um, the publisher uh, sent me the manuscript for the first book called Concrete Jungle. A year later, in 2011, I got the manuscript for the second book, Neighborhood Jungle. And in 2013, I got the manuscript for the last book in the trilogy, a little bit longer than the others. Um, called Suburban Jungle. Obviously, the uh, the continuity of both the manuscripts and the images would have to be sort of similar. Um, I was only um, contracted to do the interiors. Um, I didn't do the cover, and I didn't do um, some some of the interiors um, at the very beginning. So uh, in the um, with the numbered edition, they, they added some extra artwork, again, by the, the cover artist. Um, the work I did in this was uh, primarily uh, pencil drawings um, done on coquille board. And um, there was also, with the trade edition, um, some pen and ink illustrations as well um, for the signature sheet. For the... Um, for the numbered editions, which are hardcover, um, I was also asked to do the the uh, end papers. Again, here's that cover art repeated, and a bit of the cover art repeated again, sort of a translucent paper. And the uh, signature sheets were done with um, watercolor in full color uh, for the these editions. At this point in my in my il in my illustration uh, work, I was I was kind of peeking. I, I thought I was doing some some interesting stuff for a variety of publishers at this time. Um, I was particularly proud of the um, the portrait illustrations I chose to do for the first book. Um, these are just images of uh, the, the uh, various main characters, a mother in a bad way. Um, this one. This is a um, again pencil on coquille board, and I, uh, I was at a point where my illustration tech, uh, um, not technique, but um, style, had um, simplified a bit. I, I, I wasn't. I was no longer interested in um, in drawing every detail. I'd much rather at this point, much rather do more general uh, large shapes, um, giving more indications of things rather than documenting them. So, um, I don't know if you can see up, up at the corner, just that indication of leaves from the encroaching jungle. And not a lot of detail here, it's just mainly just like a, a broad area. Uh, with these uh, portrait illustrations, I was much more concerned with the uh, the expression on the character's face to uh, to give the reader sort of some insight into who they were, what they may have been thinking, um, something to add to the book to help move the plot along. That's why uh, this this particular guy's expression uh, yeah was slightly crazy maybe. Um, not somebody I trust, somebody with an idea I might not like, stuff like that. I was very, very proud of this one, which is why I'm showing it here. Um, the other books uh, were all done in a similar style, um, for continuity's sake. 
And what follows <clears throat> is a uh, portfolio of all the work done for this, which uh, I, I believe was called uh, the, the uh, Jungle Trilogy. Okay, I decided to do a uh, sort of a, a walkthrough of the books so you can see where everything is and, and uh, how the books were made. Um, start with a soft cover, full color wraparound. And this one, uh, the signature sheet was done in a sort of paper that's green on this side and white on the back. Um, this is part of the 180 numbered soft covers. And there's also 26 letters. I, th I think in the earlier thing that I recorded, I called these numbered copies, but no, these are A through Z. Or if we're in uh, Tasmania, um, A through Z. Um, this is a KM copy, a contributor copy, just for me. And the uh, Illustration I did for the signature sheet, like I did for all the other ones, uh, for the soft cover is is a black and white line illustration. This one's dedicated to uh, the great science fiction writer J. G. Ballard. And starts right into um, the novel itself. So these went. This is the uh, the book, the, the first book where I decided to concentrate on the faces. There's the mom, who is uh, hoping for a better day. It's not going to come, unfortunately. And the. Uh, Crazy guy. A little farther in, a, a former business type, still wearing his tie. Good for him. Um, forced perspective. You know, the hand is almost as big as the head and gets smaller as it goes into the distance. Apparently there were a lot of moths there and he's, he's enjoying it. And finally, the daughter of the mom that you saw at the beginning, the, uh, the little, uh, little gothy. At the end of this, the publisher invited some other writers to contribute stories that I think were either inspired by this or in the same universe as this. I'm, I'm not really sure. I never got to see these stories, so I, I, I couldn't tell. This first one, Lem, uh, A Lullaby by Tim Cronert. I think there's one more. Cage by Nate Kenyon. Oh, I think I met once. Not sure. I added Beacon. And that's it. And in the back, uh, the publisher made a point of uh, including everybody's bio with a photo. There's Brett, Mr. Croner, Mr. Kenyon, Mr. Chris, the cover editor, I mean the cover artist. Steve Chris and uh, me. That's an illustration to something else where I used me as the uh, as the model. So I figured, why not? Hardcover, very simple, dark green. These had end papers from me. That was a lot of fun to draw. I mean, I mean seriously, I really enjoyed doing that. Um, then uh, a 
the, uh, the cover art without the typography. Followed by another bit on translucent stock, so you can actually see through it. And on these, um, the signature sheet had a full color illustration by me. That's a watercolor. This is part of the 26 lettered. And again, my letter was KM. And it's the same. Second book in the trilogy, Neighborhood Jungle. Again, this is a uh, um, published in um, Tasmania. Um, so it's got the uh, UK version of spellings, although I'm pretty sure Tasmania is not in the UK. My apologies. Again, a wraparound color cover. Again, since this is the uh, soft cover edition, there is a ink drawing. And this one had 180 numbered soft covers, and that's where the number would go. I keep forgetting to mention the cover artist's name. This one was dedicated to uh, Richard Lehman, who I happen to know uh, Brett admired greatly. Now this one has um, a story to begin it, written by Keelan Patrick Burke, Mother Nature. It's kind of neat. And then the actual uh, second novel begins, Neighborhood Jungle. Now this one, um, as you can see, uh, things get a little bit serious here. Uh, that's an image of a fast food um, restaurant um, sign being used as a gallows for reasons which you'd have to read the story to find out why. This illustration is kind of interesting. There was a uh, a very famous turn of the century, 1905, 1940, 50 era, named uh, Frank Schoonover. Um, he's part of the um, the Brandywine School, um, studied under Howard Pyle, was a classmate of um, N.C. Wyeth. And he did an illustration of a, uh, of a uh, fur trapper standing in a canoe that had this exact same position, only he's not holding CD-ROM and CD-ROM cases in the original Schoonover. So I, it's not like I stole it, but I, I looked at that and I said, I like, I like that, the way that figure is standing. So I'm just gonna draw my own version of that for this, which I did.
very angry dogs. Again, in this in this style of of not being totally perfectly accurate in all details. Whenever I could do a silhouette of something in the distance, I did it. I think there's one. Yeah, this this one again. I love the uh, I love the camera angles. Um, the cin the cinematic camera angles that you can get. So I'm I'm like the uh, the bug uh, on the ground looking up at all of these impossibly tall straight trees that are taking over the world. Uh, you, you can see where there's still remains of what used to be a town here, and that that poor little girl is not having a good day. And here we've got there's another story at the end here. Jungle Juice by R. Frederick Hamilton. Again with the uh, the bios for everybody. I, I started a, in the, in the first book. I did a Instead of putting my photo, I put an illustration that I, I used myself as the model. And here I'm using another illustration I did um, of the Frankenstein monster, again, with using me as the model. So it's basically me. It's just I'm like play acting. And the lettered edition has the end papers. The very emaciated naked women. That was that was fun, not fun. That was challenging to research because I wanted to get that right. And another Steve Crisp. Steve Crisp again. And then for this one, I got to do. If you remember, in the soft cover edition, this was a black and white ink drawing. Now it's a full color watercolor. And everything else inside is the same. And now you get to see these things in detail. And now finally we get to uh, the third book, Suburban Jungle. The world has gone to hell. There is basically nothing left of the civilization that uh, you and I are familiar with. Um, again, a wraparound cover from Steve Crisp. This is a half tone of a watercolor. It's either a half tone of a of a color watercolor, or I may have just done that in black, in black watercolor um, paint, and just did washes. I think it was the latter. I, I decided to sign my name on this one, um, but that's just me. That's just in this copy, in in, in the one in the 180 numbered sub covers. Only Brett signed them, for real. It's dedicated to William Golding. This one again starts with a short story. Uh, Welcome to the Jungles. 
Brian Hodge. And I think this goes to a second story, Lloyd and Caitlin and the Ghosts by John R. Little. So that's two. Although this Brian Hodge kind of looks like an introduction. Maybe it was. Then another story, Devolution by Daniel I. Russell. I, I never got to read these particular stories or intros. I only got to read Brit's manuscripts, so I, I had no opportunity to illustrate those. This one has some very, very strange drawings in it. I fear these human beings have morphed into, into these kind of like monkey monsters, um, some of them, making the most of living in the jungle. And there are still people who are basically human, homo sapiens, who are constantly fighting them. Let's see who will come out on top. You'll notice there are sections that have these breaks, these little black and white ink drawings I did of the birds. Flocks of birds seem, seem to be the theme of this. Uh, um, carrion birds. I forget what this guy's about, but he doesn't look like he's a friend of mine. I do remember the long fingernails, though, so I want to make sure to get that in. You don't want to know what she's chopping up, trust me. And then finally, um, not only the jungles have taken over, but uh, the rising sea level has taken its toll as well. Top of a church. So there's Brett. Brian Hodge, John Little. Daniel I. Russell, and this lady, um, I don't know who that is, <laughs> she's in here somewhere. Mr. Crisp, finally a photo of me with my uh, grandson's uh, two terriers, Dexter and Ravioli. Hardcover. You can see the, the carrion birds and peep the tops of weapons that a crowd of gang of people are carrying to do something nasty. More crisp. That noise you hear in the background is uh, my house decided to uh, turn the, uh, the heater on, the, the furnace is on. Uh, again, full, full color watercolor for the uh, but then everything else throughout is the same. Okay, you know the drill.